Today I got to sit down with writer-director Patrick Bryce to talk about his new film, The Overnight. His film stars Taylor Schilling, Adam Scott, Jason Schwartzman, and Judith Goodrush. So Patrick, your uh, movie just premiered. How did the audiences receive it? It was amazing. Yeah? Yeah, it was crazy because like the biggest crowd that had seen it is like 12 people before that and we went straight from 12 people to 1,200 people at the Eccles seeing the movie. It was absolutely wonderful. Showing it to friends, you're having to kind of surrender your ego and, and, and show, for in my case, like fellow filmmakers, like the worst version of the movie that will ever exist and saying, help, you know, essentially help me make this better. So, yeah. What camera did you use for this and why did you choose that camera? Uh, so we used two Canon C500s mm -hmm. with uh, super speed lenses. Our, our DP, John Bulosarian, is incredibly picky. He has a very like kind of specific look for his movies. We wanted to shoot the whole thing at night with practicals. Like we wanted the least amount of lighting as possible. And it ended up being a, like a great, just a great camera. I think the film has a really unique look because of it. So um, what was it like, the difference between doing a movie that was completely improvised or doing one that was by the book? Then do, yeah. do you give your actors a little bit of like freedom to play? Because yeah, it was great. I mean, it especially helped me writing-wise, uh -huh. having, having gone through the process of making a movie where, you know, that was an odd movie. That was me and Mark Duplass going out in the woods together with a 10-page outline with no film crew. Yeah. And, you know, having the story where the characters, the, the crux of the story is that one character is filming the other character the whole movie. You know, first of all, I was having to act, which I hadn't done. Before, yeah. <laughs> but also generate, you know, natural dialogue at the same time. So in terms of going into the writing process, I'd say, like, having that experience you know, just made it a luxury that we had this script available to us and we actually knew what we were going to be doing every uh -huh. day, you know. Uh, at the same time, though, like having people like Adam Scott and Jason Schwartzman, who are just these master improvisers and just completely intuitive, was just like, I mean, you couldn't help but do a couple takes where it's like, okay, guys, just just, just do, your, do your thing. You know? <laughs> do you feel that your experience acting in Creep um, helps you relate uh, better with the actors? Oh, yeah, no, I think every director should be forced to act at some point. You know, you go through that and hopefully if you're paying attention and paying attention to what worked for you and what didn't work for you, you're able to then articulate so uh, both Creep and The Overnight um, are very different movies, but they're both about relationships. Can you talk yes. about the similarities and differences? The, the through line in both of these films is that the slow revealing of these characters and their intentions. So you know, that is a baseline, I'd say, is the main similarity between the two. Other than that, you know, we have Creep was this film where it ends up being something insanely dark at the end. Overnight, hopefully, and it ending up being something that's like yeah. kind of more sweet and, and loving. Yeah. I, I don't want to say too much. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no, yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah. give it away yeah. at all. Yeah. But uh, what was the inspiration for the characters or, or for the film itself? I wanted to make another movie with Mark, and you know, he said, you know, if you write something, like I'll produce it. I, I will like help you, help you do that. Yeah. So, you know, in, in the genesis of the script was essentially me wanting to take these sort of broader comedic characters mm -hmm. and put them in a world that felt a little more real. And um, the actors, excellent actors, your second yeah. feature, how did they get involved? Uh, it was kind of a, a snowball effect, mm -hmm. you know, like having having Mark obviously, you know, at my side helped, you know, the, the, the festival success of Creep helped. And the chemistry I'm sure is incredible. Oh my god. It's all the, amazing the actors. No, they're, all so, they're all so smart and just everyone just brought it. It was so 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 sweet. This was mostly shot at night. I know how horrendous it is to be on yeah. a night shoot. The whole film for the most part takes place at night mm -hmm. so I don't know there's something about just staying up super late that kind of creates a strange energy you mm -hmm. know yeah. like some of my greatest memories growing up are just staying up until the dawn laughing with my friends <laughs> and that's very much the vibe that it was on set you know mm -hmm. things would get loopier and loopier and loopier <laughs> as time went on and then once you hit like four or five the clock it became like okay we need to get home yeah you know, like and, and get to sleep i think it 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 created this kind of just odd energy and, and i feel like it's palpable in the movie and, yeah and in the performances like the movie's kind of about these people staying up all night and getting exhausted and crazy and everyone was really exhausted and crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well what's next for you yeah no i've got a couple things i'm writing right now Creeps are be coming out this year. Oh, congrats
this summer. Cool. Thank you very much. You I'm guys. so excited yeah. to see the film this week. Join How We Make Movies tomorrow on StudioDaily.com as we hit the streets to see which films are getting the most buzz this week at Sundance.